Hello amigos, Rich and Amigo here. And it's Cody. And we're going to be doing an extra video. For those of you who read the title, you know what's happening. Cody doesn't actually know what's going on. And, okay, basically, you need to press L1, R1, square and start. L, what? L1, R1, square and start. L1, R1, R1, square and start. So, mate, all at the same time? I think so. It says. How are you meant to do that? Ah. Wait, do you have to do it at the other menu then? What other menu? Like as soon as the thing comes on at the touch screen. I'll press reset. And obviously I'll cut as soon as we get the thing. I think it's working. Is it working? What do you do? I press the button. Yeah, it's working. Okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> no bloody way. <laughs> you guessed that, haven't you? It's going to spiral, ain't it? Year of the Dragon, number three. Oh my god. <laughs> Get ready for Spyro's greatest adventure. Get Monster Air in the new skate parks. Control four new characters. Bentley the strong man. Kick butt as Sheila the kangaroo. Command the skies as Sergeant Bird or whatever it says. Sergeant Bird. Monkey around as Agent Nine. Pilot new vehicles. And someone spamming my doorbell. <laughs> Take on new bot. Oh, Mini bosses. Hey guys. And choose whichever level you want. I'm only going to record about 20 minutes of this. That's fine. So guys, wasn't expecting this. I can either go skate park, mountain cut, or seashell shore. I think I'm gonna go seashell shore. So the adventure continues. Apparently. Can I keep the mic. Oh, no, give the mic. Okay. Which level did you choose? Seashell shorts. I see a seashell. Sea um, seashell. 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 I can't remember how it goes. Do you mind just moving the controller quickly? So, question: Have you ever played this game before? I, know, I believe I've played it once. Okay. I know you've played Spyro 1. Yeah, so I actually own that game. It's a very fun game, man. Apparently we're underwater, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, this is the, um, basically just the gameplay for the demo of Spyro 3. I've done this for the um, two other Crash games as well, so I thought, why not? And yeah. Now, like the um, other two, well, Spyro 1, I completed the whole thing of the demo. But, um, like Spyro 2, I'm only going to be showing off just under 20 minutes of it. Yep. So, because obviously we don't want to beat the whole demo, and you never know, I might actually get this game and I might let's play it, so. You never know. Maybe fun time. <laughs> But uh, like I said, I still need to get the game. The only Spyro games I have are Spyro 2 and Spyro um, the Enter the Dragonfly. So, yeah. Uh, who's that guy? It's Guessing? An enemy. Okay. But you can't circle when you're underwater, it doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't have Mario logic. You have to charge! Cool. Guessing you have to charge every enemy that's underwater. Yep. Does it control all right underwater? Uh, it controls pretty well. Yeah, because I've I've heard um, Spyro two. Oh, I've actually played Spyro two, so I haven't just heard. But in that game, the underwater the controls are really really good. Yeah. So I was just wondering if they kept it for this game. And yeah. Oh, where are we now? We're at the beach, probably because yeah. it's water. So. And yeah. I like the music, even though it's kind of repetitive, 
I do like it. Ah, oh, it's going into another bit mix of it now, so that's alright. Yeah. Oh! It's quite a cool concept, just what hit your face into the barrel and then whack it back at the enemy. Yeah, I also like the fact that you can swim. Underwater. I, I think you press square. Yeah, I like it how um, Sparks has a bubble around them. Yeah. I think that means that you can also breathe underwater forever as well. Yeah. And there's an enemy there. And <laughs> I just swim straight under it. <laughs> not like he cares though, he's not doing anything about it. <laughs> no. Nope. Sparks, they're my enemies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about that. In um, Sp Spiral 1, it's chess, but. Two and three, they have pots. Yep. Oh, uh, you missed the pot. Yeah. I'll come back for the pot later. I'm sure you will. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you also have, I think, if you fly and press triangle, you have that little um thing. No, oh, what was that? How'd you do that? I press up and then press down. Oh. Damn it! I can't make. It. I'm sure. Okay, what's the button when you do to? Because there's a button you can do that makes you fly upwards a little bit afterwards. What if you? What, no, I mean press triangle, the triangle while flying. Try that. Yeah, that's it. You're pressing it twice, I think. He he started oh, I think doing I the little. In it, okay. Then. But yeah, you fly and then push on door. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Ah! Oh, <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> Eventually, when I go over there, guys. Yeah. Oh, there's a pot. You gonna break it? Of course. <laughs> Come on, back here, pot. There you go. Remember, guys, pots are your worst enemies. Does anything happen if you hit the trees? Uh, like. I don't think so. Okay. Because in some games, I know if you ram into trees, they'll yeah, drop, no, stuff. drop stuff. But yeah. I was actually, um, actually trying to get her to guess, and it was driving her crazy. It was not. <laughs> it's not funny either. He was laughing his head off. <laughs> I not it's not it. funny, it's hilarious. I couldn't guess it to save my life. Yep. And that's why it was funny. Damn it! Yeah. What are the little animals on this level? Have you seen any yet? Or? You can hover to get more distance when gliding. Just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Okay. Thanks, I. And I think that saves your progress when she zaps you. Damn it! I thought you died then. <laughs> I hate trying to pick up the gems when you've got no sparks. said that you can die in a demo then? My mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you find it. Stupid dagger! <laughs> I'm 
take now and you show them who to kill him back. Yeah. You're ready to turn back. <laughs> You're his Where brother. Barrels even come from. Mm, in their pocket. Apparently so. Now, pocket is the equivalent to um, Mary Poppins' bag. <laughs> yes. Under the sea. What is your mission, anyway? To save his friends. Okay. The mission is to save the friends by not doing that. Okay. By ramming into the enemy. Yeah. Which apparently I can't do. Alright, try now. There we go. Oh yeah, because in this game you're collecting dragon eggs, aren't you? Yeah. Dizzy. Then they usually say something, or? No, I think it's when your attacks are failed. And then you fly okay. through there and you go to a different block. Okay. No, oh, and obviously this is demo, so it would take you back to that little menu thing, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Alright. Sit turn around and fly on holidays. 2000. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Is it loading or anything? Do you have to press X? I think it might just be because my disc is a bit scratched and it's not loading it. So I'll just reset it. Well, that was the demo of Spyro 3? Um, yeah, that was the demo f of Spyro 3 on Crash Bash. Yep, that was hidden. And um, Maybe in future games like Wrath of Cortex they might have different demos to different Spyro games. I think they do. Uh, um, Maybe. It's, yeah, uh, thanks for playing Spyro 3. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys all enjoyed watching it. Yep. Um, the code's going to be in the description in case you miss it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See you then.